Well, I can tell you guys that we'll be seeing some more days with some sun and clouds and warm temperatures as we dive right into it with the weather headlines. Some spring-like temperatures on the way to the Contra Valley, and we're starting off kicking through the week fairly nice and staying on that trend going into the rest of this week. And then we'll see winds start to pick up in upper levels as the pressure gradient gets a little tight for us through the weekend, having gusty conditions. And then the weekend overall looks nice. But do see a cold front that comes through in our future come Sunday into Monday will cool us off a little bit. Across Texas, it's cooling off a good bit, seeing 60s more of the south and into the eastern part of Texas, 50s mixing in there, 43 in Amarillo, 52 in, our, in Marfa. Most of us are in the 50s right now going into the rest of the night. Now, let's recap February. We're in March. This going into normal for rainfall total, expecting only 0.05 inches in, in February. We only saw 0.35 inches. Again, normal is one inch and two zero inches and we didn't see that this February we were pretty dry and that could be an issue as we already seeing drought conditions and I'll show you what those are looking like right now but tonight we went to the evening hours saw some sunshine after seeing those clouds disappear reached a high around 73 degrees now we're starting to slowly take that downward climb into the 50s and this cloud cover kept us a little clear for a uh, much into the evening keeping us warm but now starting to see a little more clearing from the south to the north from much of our Contra Valley and it's 52 and that's what it feels like humidity at 31 percent winds out of the southeast at seven miles per hour again not gusty winds coming so far going into tomorrow but definitely going to see things pick up with 40s and 50s trending right here across the Contra Valley 50 in Ozona and Sterling City 51 in Wall 48 and Eden a little cooler to the eastern counties where they may be seeing a little more faster cloud cover but this high pressure is the reason why we're seeing nothing but beautiful weather across much of the United States right now with sinking air and that ridging. As that trough actually starts to build in, notice the winds extending all the way into the plains, starting to get a little gusty there. Then that trough comes in, brings us a cold front, getting gusty ahead of it and behind it into Monday. And that's what we're gonna see the cool off behind that front. But if you wanna know exactly how gusty we'll get those winds going into Saturday, well, out of the south around possibly 20 to 25 miles per hour, definitely feeling like March. And continuing in that, even into the panhandle, Staying up to around 30 to 35, the far west you go, you see a little more gusty conditions, and then things start to taper down for us going into next week. But after Tuesday, after we'll be cooler Tuesday, could still see some teen wind speeds in our future. I just said going into Sunday and this weekend, we'll see some clouds coming in, and especially into tomorrow, partly cloudy conditions. And then we'll go right into Sunday, into the weekend, where it's going to be nice and warm, but also holding a chance to see some showers, I think, in some of the stormiest weather well off to our east, but still possible for us to see a slight chance here through Tom Green and into some of our southern counties. So we'll be watching for that. We need the rain overall because we've been dry, and even though we're seeing nothing but beautiful weather going forward this week and getting cooler comes at the start of next week, we definitely are seeing drought conditions currently. Now seeing most of us starting to get abnormally dry into severe in the orange and tan moderate drought and even into Sterling County getting into the stream drought conditions. So any rain we see will definitely be beneficial here going into the next couple of days. Tonight, we'll get down around 41 degrees and then warm up into the 70s. And if you want to go out and grab a bite for your lunch or dinner, definitely going to be seeing temperatures in the 70s for most of the part into the next five days. We will continue to be warm across the Concho Valley with plenty of sunshine and clouds looking nice for the weekend. Cooling off after that cold front comes through Sunday into Monday and then staying in the 60s trend into by the time next Wednesday rolls around. We'll be back with more Case Land News.